Good morning guys. I'm picking up the vlog right where I left it yesterday. So if you haven't watched yesterday's vlog, make sure you head over there and watch it. I'm wearing the same outfit in that outfit last clip. So here we are again the next day and happy July 3rd. Today I am starting off at my parents' house. I'm here just about every day. Trevor is definitely here every day, but I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do when I get in there. I just know that I left my computer here yesterday, so first thing I had to like basically come over here. But um, yeah, we'll figure it out. We don't really have much planned for today, so let's just see. Early the next morning. Good morning, guys. I am looking a little rough this morning. I have not showered, my eyes are still puffy, and I'm still wearing the same clothes from yesterday. But I woke up this morning not feeling the best. Not like sick wise, like my health is okay, my throat is actually a little sore, but that's not what I'm talking about. I woke up feeling like, like crummy. Like whenever I feel like, I don't know, like I needed to clean the house, like nothing was right everything is going wrong and I think a lot of that has to do with like the really bad day I had yesterday it was just an awful day I don't really want to talk about it but just like the day in general just sucked and so I woke up this morning kind of feeling crummy again and one of the best ways for me to get out of that is just to like literally go and deep clean the house like just actually clean really good and that really gets me going again gets me feeling good about the space that i'm living in feeling good about myself because i can accomplish something as easy as cleaning the house and then i'll be able to jump start the day and do all the things that i need to do so i went ahead and already sat down in my notebook and made a cleaning list because i am a list person and so having a list like this and having it in the order that i want to do everything i'm just going to be able to knock it out real fast get it all done and feel successful because I'm going to go in and cross off every single thing and by the end of it this list will be entirely crossed off one page worth of to-dos crossed off and I'm going to feel fantastic so let's go ahead and get started with this clean with me today the first thing on my list was bathroom I just feel like I wanted to start in the bathroom today so I only have a couple of things I need to wipe off the counter wipe down the shower clean Grizzle's litter clean the toilet and then sweep and dust the whole area so let's get started Cleaning the bathroom is definitely one of my least favorite jobs. I feel like it's the messiest, which is why I always leave it for last. But then when I leave it for last, I feel like I don't do a good job because like I'm over cleaning, I wanna be done. So today I chose to start there. I figured either way I'm gonna need a shower at the end of this, so it doesn't matter whether I get messy at the beginning or messy at the end. So I went ahead and cleaned the shower, wiped off the counter first thing, and played some music to really get me going. The next thing that I hate doing is cleaning the litter box. Ugh, it smells so bad. It's like the worst job ever. So here I am just trying to power through that. And then Grizzle also doesn't like it when I clean the litter box. So he's like all over, all up in my space, trying to get me to stop. And I don't know, it's just the worst. As a child, my mom used to make us clean the toilets as one of like our chores as a kid. And my sisters and I fought about who would clean the toilets. So for me, cleaning the toilet isn't gross at all. I, I don't know why, I'm glad my mom made us do it because I'm not afraid to just, you know, get in there and clean the toilet. It doesn't bother me one bit. It's actually the best chore of them all. Okay, we are done in the bathroom. I just got done cleaning the mirror. I'm leaving the rug from the floor out like onto the carpet because when I sweep the whole house, I'll sweep that rug as well. But now I can go and let's do the bedroom. This is probably the dirtiest area, or at least the hairiest. So our, both of our animals sleep in bed with us, so we get so much hair all over the bed. 
And then Grizzle, of course, does not want me to clean the bed. <laughs> because, I mean, it's their domain too. Plus, he thinks it's so fun and he loves to play. But he's just running all over the bed the whole time I'm trying to do this. I decided to strip the whole thing because I was tired of lifting the blankets and getting hair right in my face. And that's actually where we're gonna start. It's pretty easy to strip the bed and then we can just wash the sheets today. And, um, I don't know, get that space all cleaned up and real nice. Next thing I needed to do was do some organizing. We still had a box on our dresser from when we moved in here, and I just wanted to get that out of there. I was tired of seeing it. So I went ahead and organized and dusted. Sorry it's loud in here, the air conditioner unit is in here, but the only thing I really have left to do, I stripped the bed, I organized like the dresser and like these shelves a little bit over here. I need to organize my nightstand and then that's it, I'll dust and sweep and I get, I won't really show you guys that because it'll be real quick and the tripod will get in the way anyway. Next is the living room and this is the room that's probably the most messy but also like the least amount of like deep cleaning we're gonna have to do. So obviously I have to pick up everything. All of that stuff needs to go back out to my car. And I need to vacuum the couch because it gets a lot of hair on it. Vacuum the floors, dust everything. And then in here is good. So it has a lot of picking up, but not a whole lot of like deep, deep cleaning. cleaning the living room it wasn't that hard and I sat down and ate some lunch but now I'm ready to tackle the kitchen and finally be done cleaning this apartment happy with how the couch turned out. This couch has seen better days. Whenever we purchase a new home, it's gonna be time for a new couch. But I vacuumed the whole thing because these guys here have so much shedding. <laughs> but it feels so much better to sit down and not have like hair with like, you sit on it and it would just like poof. And you would just like get dog hair everywhere. So I'm excited. Okay, kitchen time. I feel like the kitchen is usually the easiest place for me to clean just because everything does have a spot. It's pretty easy to put it away. We just don't have a dishwasher so we tend to let things pile up really easily. So I'm putting away some ice cube trays and then I'm gonna jump right into dishes and that's basically all that I had to do in here to make it at least look presentable. So after that, it was really easy to just wipe down the counters, sweep the floor, you know, all the basic stuff. But doing the dishes, <laughs> Trevor and I both avoid so we, I just had to stand here and do it. I just had to do it. Guys, I crushed it. The house is clean. I lit some candles. Wait, wait. There you go. There you go. I lit some candles. My diffuser is going every room. It smells glorious, it feels nice, but now I feel crummy, so I'm gonna hop in the shower and kind of officially start my day, even though it's later in the afternoon, but we're gonna get this show on the road. Oh. 